Especially with black women, they act like finding a good black man is like looking for a fucking unicorn. Especially black women when they say shit like there's no such thing as a good black man. Or my personal favorite disclaimer, I know there are good black men out there, but what the fuck is that supposed to mean? I know there are good black men out there. What the fuck are you looking for? A four-leaf clover? I know there are good black men out there because I'm friends with them. Like, I mean, like you talking about fairy tales. Every single time black women say some shit like that, y'all reinforce a black man's arrogance. Because now he thinks he's something special just for being average. Bottom line, you cannot constantly demonize the image of black men and then not expect that shit not to have any negative consequences. And the arrogance factor is just one of many negative consequences. When you when you constantly throw black men under the bus, undeserved arrogance is one of the side effects you have to deal with. When you constantly ridicule black men for their alleged shortcomings, you help to create a mentality where the mediocre is now seen as the miraculous. When you pro when you promote the per the perception that black men are inherently inadequate when compared to other groups of men you help create the belief inside of black men that they are inadequate when you push the belief that black men are naturally more flawed than other men you help create a flawed mindset in black men black women help to instill the mentality inside of black men that they are expected to be failures so when black men do something right, some of them think it's bigger than what it really is. Because they just defied everybody's expectations of them. In other words, because black women do such a great job in destroying the black man's ego, many black men have internalized the belief that they are failures by default. So that everything they do right is now a milestone achievement. Congratulations, black women. Your job is done. And let me put it to you like this. A black man and a white man can have the same job, the same title, the same income. They can be the same age. Hell, they can even live in the same neighborhood. Now, that black guy may feel that he has finally made it, that he's successful. That black guy may feel like he, he's on top of the world right now. Now, that white guy in the same position not so much. He may feel that he's only doing the bare minimum. That he's only doing fulfilling the basic requirements. Why is that? Because white men are socialized differently, totally differently from black men. You see, white men are socialized in a way where they are expected to be successful. They are groomed from birth to run the world when they when they become adults. In stark contrast, black men are socialized in a way for which they are expected to be failures. See, black men are taught from birth that they're going to be trouble. It's like that joke that Chris Rock made. He said that black parents are the only ones who have to tell their kids that they can be anything they want to be when they grow up. He said, yeah, son, you can be anything you want to be. Don't let anybody tell you different. And then he was like, well, white people don't have to tell their kids that shit. Because it's obvious to them. Only black people have to tell their kids that shit. Because white kids know they can have anything they want. Because white men know this world was designed for them. I mean, I mean not literally, but you know what I mean. And this is why I hate it when black women... They, they, how they shit on black men every chance they get. And then turn around and have the audacity... To be appalled that some black that some black men are arrogant for being productive when they're the ones who foster that mentality in the first damn place. And black women, black women are worse than white people with that. They are worse than racist white people with that shit. Just how white people spent centuries conditioning black people to feel that they were inferior to white people, and then. And then turn around and blame black people for behaving in inferior ways, for behaving in line with the 
with the belief system that they put inside them. Black women do the same shit to black men. Y'all spend so much time and energy conditioning black males to feel to feel inferior to other to other races of males. And then criticize those black males who act in accordance with that belief system that you helped instill inside them. Then you blame those you blame those black male black males who take pride in doing in, in doing the average, doing the regular. Oh, and then you know what really pisses me off is though is when black women then try to dictate the black man how we should feel. Well, if I was a black man, I would try to prove everyone wrong. I would do this. I would do that. Well, bitch, you ain't a black man. You don't know what the fuck we go through. You don't know how the fuck we feel. You don't know what the fuck we think. So, bitch, don't pretend like you know. And anybody else uh, who is not a black man, I really appreciate it a lot if you just shut the fuck up about what it is we choose or choose not to take pride in. Now, me, myself, as a black man, I have no problem with calling out other black men who do take, who do take pride in, 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 in bullshit. Or who, take, or who take the utmost pride in doing the most ordinary task. And I really don't mind when other, it, when other black men do the same. Now, I might not always agree with them, but I, have more, I definitely have more tolerance for, other, for black men who, who call out who criticize other black men simply because we know how they feel because we went through the same thing we go through the same thing so I'm qualified to speak out because we drink because I know we drink from the same cup we bear the same cross because as black men we all get beaten down the same so only we can honestly speak on it anybody else who is not a black man not a black man uh, y'all really, y'all really don't have any goddamn right to even speak about what, about what we choose to take pride in. So, in conclusion, black woman, if you want black, if you want black men to stop walking around with big egos just for doing simple things, there's only one thing you can do: stop throwing black men under the bus every chance you get, and then you wouldn't have to deal with this problem. Anyway, this has been a public service announcement by the Truth Bearer 1. Peace.